Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on counting entities, counting players, or counting mobs. So we have a couple of small command systems here that we're going to go ahead and count the mobs with. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on, and you can see that it says monster count is zero. And basically all this is going to do is add a point for each monster that is loaded in the world. So we'll go ahead and put down some creepers and you can see that it's going to start going up on the monster count. And then it counts anything in the family of monsters, although these zombies are going to burn to death because it's daytime. But you can see that the, zombie count, or the monster count went up to 5 because of the zombies. And then it'll go back down once these two um, unalive themselves over here with the fire. Um, should go back down in a second and the way that that works here is I have one command that is displaying the count um, which you can optionally use and then we have two commands here that actually do the counter um, so first off let's go ahead and add a scoreboard objective so we're gonna go ahead and add a scoreboard in the chat here so scoreboard objectives and we're gonna go add and I did total monsters and then dummy all right, and that'll keep track of how many monsters there are. And then we're going to go ahead and put a repeat unconditional always active command. And you can put any delay you want. I put 20 tick delay on it. And then you can go ahead and do a command here. Then this basically will like set the count to zero. That way it can reset itself. So scoreboard players set monster count, which is a fake name. Total monsters, which is our scoreboard objective, to zero. <clears throat> and then this one here is going to add a point for each um, entity with family equals monster. So we got chain unconditional always active and it's execute as entity family equals monster. So that includes anything like zombies, creepers, um, zombie villagers, skeletons, all that kind of fun stuff. And then we're going to do run scoreboard players add monster count, which is that fake name, total monsters, one. So that basically adds one per monster that you have in the world on this little scoreboard here and you can go ahead and decide who actually would see this action bar message here you know you could make it only come on at certain times if you'd want to or but anyways here's a basic example of how you could display it um, of course you could put it on the sidebar and stuff like that too if you wanted to you can do anything you want with the score but anyways it's execute as anyone r equals 25 so that just means that I put it anyone that's 25 blocks away from the command block if you wanted to have this across the whole world, you could just execute it as anyone. <clears throat> and then I did run, title raw, at self, so that means that it's going to do one per person. And then it's action bar, which means that it's going to show up on the bottom of the screen here, above my um, hotbar. And then we're going to go ahead and do this raw text here, which I know people tend to get hung up on the raw text, but it's not that complicated. So basically we're going to open up a squiggly bracket, and then you can see I have the same squiggly bracket closed at the back end of the text. And then we're going to go ahead and start doing things in here. We're going to put in quotations. We got raw text. And then we're going to put down some colons. And we're going to open up a square bracket, which you can see we closed at the end here. We're going to open up a squiggly bracket, which we also close at the end here. And then you can go ahead and start doing the stuff that you'd like to do inside of it. So we're going to go ahead and open up a text bracket. So one more squiggly set of brackets, which you can see I've got closed here. And then we'll put text in quotation marks, put a colon, and then we'll put the words that we want to place down in quotation marks. So I put a squiggly line A, so that's what changes the color. Um, so I made it green, monster count. And then I put the squiggly line F because I'm done with my color. And then I closed out my bracket here. And then we open up a score bracket, which basically this is what's going to decide um, which score is displayed next to the word monster count. So we'll open up our squiggly brackets here, which you can see that those do close down here. And then we got, in quotation marks, we have score, and then we have a colon, and we open up another, another squiggly bracket. And then in quotation marks, we have name. So this is going to be the name of the person whose score you want to display. And then we put a colon, and then we put the name of the person in quotation marks. So we got monster count, and then we put a comma, and then we have objective, which is going to be the name of the scoreboard that we're actually going to display here. Make sure you put that inside quotation marks as well. And then we're going to go ahead and do another colon. And then it's a little hard to read because it keeps popping back and forth with this dash. But this is where you put your objective name. It's going to be total monsters. 
and then it's going to close out all the brackets and now that's a big jumbled pile of confusing gibberish here so if you guys want you can go ahead and copy the commands here um, from the description I'll have all three of the different displays um, in the description the next two we're not going to go over as detailed because that took a minute here but if you're still with us here we got two more different display boards here so this one here is just going to count creepers and basically it's the exact same thing you can see I have the display and all I did was edit the scoreboard to total creepers and to write the word creeper count and I made the fake name called creeper count as well and then that's how it says creeper count on the bottom of the scoreboard this one does the same thing it's scoreboard player set creeper count total creepers zero so that's basically just resetting that scoreboard and then this one here is going to go as entity type equals creeper so rather than doing that family equals monster that we did a minute ago this is going to count just creepers and then you're running scoreboard players add creeper count which is the fake name total creepers which is the objective name one and one more thing that I forgot to mention there is each one of these systems actually needs its own objective so we're going to go ahead and add scoreboard objectives add and we're going to put total creepers dummy so then once you've done that you can go ahead and start counting creepers if you'd like to so now we have eight creepers it's getting pretty creepy over here and the final system that I want to show you guys here is going to count how many players you have online so again we're gonna go ahead into the chat and we're gonna add an objective here again so that it can count how many players so we're gonna go ahead and do scoreboard objectives add total players dummy and then we're gonna add that into the chat there and then we can go ahead and turn on our display command and you can see it says two players are online because I have the other shark here so it's execute as any one again and we're gonna run the title raw and it's the same thing as that long one that we went over in the beginning other than we put players online here as our nice cool text we put player count as our dummy player and we put total players as the objective and again these commands will be in the description and then you can see that we have two players online if I have the other arctic shark over here who's having a face down with a creeper it looks like if we have the other arctic shark over there go ahead and back out of the game it will go ahead and switch to one players online as you can see here so then we'll go in here and this is what's actually going to count the players just like before repeat unconditional always active and it was on a 20 tick delay scoreboard players reset and then player count is the dummy name total players is the um, <clears throat> objective name now you can see that this one I actually did reset um, rather than set to zero because obviously the world is always gonna have one player online or otherwise it wouldn't even be playing so I just basically didn't want to display zero players I want to just do reset total players and then over here we have the same chain repeat or I'm sorry chain unconditional always active execute as anyone run scoreboard players add player count which is the fake name and then total players which is the objective and then one so every time a player comes online or offline we'll have that score go up by one so you can see that I'll have Arctic Shark jump back in here in a second and it'll go up to two. There you go. So now if you guys are having trouble with scoreboards or counting entities or counting creepers or any of this fun stuff that we just went over here, please go ahead and feel free to jump into the Shark Commander's Discord, which I have a link here you could zoom into on this block. Or I have this QR code here that you could join as well. And then, of course, I will throw a link to these Shark Commanders in the description. And we can go ahead and pretty much help you guys out with almost anything related to Minecraft Bedrock Commands. In any case, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, throw a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and jump into that Discord. Keep on commanding.